So I've had lots of questions about um, cost of loans and interest, and I think it's something that's that's practical. And and so I want to give you a little example, regardless of whether you need this to do your apps. Um, just understanding this in general uh, is an important uh, concept. So so what I have is um, this is the interest rate charges for teachers credit union on a, on a car. So there's they give you the different rates based on um, the year of the car. So all of these are 63 months, which, you know, 12 months in a year, so 60 months would be five years. So these are all um, five and a quarter years. But they just compare them on loan of $10,000. Now, you're not going to get a new car for $10,000, I don't think, um, that I'm aware of. But they just do it as an example so you can compare. And they actually even show you your total interest paid. So when they when they talk about cost of the loan, that's the interest paid down here. Um, so if you want to verify this, you can go to your finance app and the TVM solver. And so the number of months is actually given to you. So you don't have to enter that in separately. You can just put in the rate. So 4.697 is the interest rate. Um, present value would be negative 10,000 and we're going to figure out the payment and the future value is zero and I already have the per year 12 because it's going to be a monthly payment it's going to recalculate interest every 12 months so if I go to solve alpha solve I get 179.41 and, and I look over here and I can't quite figure out why they don't exactly match up but essentially there's your 179. I think it has something to do with uh, calculation of interest on the front end or back end of the loan, but it's basically the same number. Um, and so this is, they tell you this is the interest you pay, about $1,300. But you could find that by taking your 179.41 times the number of payments. So again, our number is a little different, but it's, it's going to be pretty close to the same. So you pay that amount for 63 payments and you pay back 1103 or 11,302 well your loan was on a $10,000 you also have to pay the 10,000 back but the difference between those that's the cost of the loan um, and that is what uh, I think is what you need to understand um, and as your interest rate goes up again these are the same amount $10,000 you can see how the cost of the loan goes up um, and what places will do financing wise is they'll tell you well you can't afford that monthly payment of 179 well let's make this be 73 months then let's add a year to it and then see if uh oh wow now my payment's only 157 um, but the problem is now your cost of your loan that's about 158 158 times 73 is 11,500. So now the the cost of your loan um, went up. Instead of 1,300, it's now uh, 1,500. And that, that keeps going up and up. And the other thing is that oftentimes when they extend the length of the loan, the, the rate of interest goes up. So they can get your loan payment down for you to where you're, you think it's affordable, but they're going to make more money off of the of the situation you only if you only look at the payment amount that's where you end up getting in trouble so i've had lots of questions about um cost of the loans and
So maybe a little more relevant for you guys right now. So maybe a little more relevant for you guys right now is thinking about your college loans, and we've talked about this. So I just did a little search. You can there's all kinds of student loan calculators, um, and so this is one, and it had some. This is the average national student debt, which I think if you add up um, the loans you can get every year, uh, this is the amount um, that students end up with for the most part. Uh, and then they, they will actually figure the payment. You don't have to understand how to figure the payment. There's different calculators, but you can see um, what happens as the interest rate. So what goes up or down, um, this is the subsidized interest rate. I think the unsubsidized, I think I read down here was like six or seven. Uh, if a parent's take a loan, it's a lot higher, six or seven. So let's say this is, this is the amount, if you graduate with this amount, um, when you graduate and you pay for 10 years, you would have a monthly payment of 297. And so then they calculate over the life of your loan, um, you would have 35,000 um, that you would pay back on a $28,000 loan. So again, if you wanna figure out, you know, what the, what's the cost of the loan, um, and I just put, I put the numbers in to see if they matched up. So their payment was 297, so pretty much the same. Um, but the cost of the loan, is the amount you paid 35,583 minus the original amount, which I think was 28,400. And so, you know, your, your cost of your loan is about $7,000. Um, and that's the interest charge uh, on 28,400. Um, and I was messing around with uh, different simple interest rates um, if you want to take that interest, total interest, and divide it by the original loan, which was 28400 and then divide that by 10, because it's 10 years, that gives you the simple interest rate, like 2.52%. And the reason it's lower than what the actual rate is, is that every time you pay on it, the amount that the interest is being charged on is less than what is there. So anyway, it's something to take a look at. Those of you that are seniors especially, you can see what happens, you know, this is, this is the subsidized amount. So this was not accumulating while you were in college. This is how much you pay as soon as you get out. Um, so this is whatever your total of your loans is. Let's say, you know, if you go to 40,000 and your, your payment jumps up to 418. Um, the other thing that you can figure out is you know, if, if you decide to pay it off in five years, you start paying really heavy, um, you do save money on interest. So you can balance that. Um, going back to that original 28,400, um, let's say you decide to pay for it for 15 years. Well, your payments go down, but then the amount that you pay back goes up. So those are kind of interesting to play around with. Um, and it shows you, you know, each year what your loan balance is. It's really pretty helpful. You don't need to use your calculator. Um, so you can see how much gets knocked off of the loan each year. And, and in some of these loans, you get money. If you pay extra, it goes towards the principal, which even lowers it amount that much faster. Mm-hmm. <laughs>